Some people love it, others hate it. This guy said it the best. The Talon is the M9 to the bayonet. Hello, my name is Finn and I make CS2 skins. Today I'm going to show you how I cloned this guy's very expensive CS2 knife into a real life version. And to start, I'm going to need a 3D model. And conveniently, I have just the game that contains some very accurate 3D models for CS2 knives. It's called Counter Strike 2. So here's the model, I've extracted it using Source 2 Viewer as you just saw and so far it looks great, however you can't actually see but the model's broken so I've got to put it into 3D Builder and fix it up first. Okay now it's repaired I need to cut the handles off so I can do them in separate parts. So this is slicer that I'm using right now, I'm just going to try and separate the edge of the handle from the actual blade and then we can print them in separate parts. We'll start off by printing the handles. Here they are in Cura. It's going to slice it with normal PLA. Um, and yeah, I'm going to print these with marble filament. And this is the model. This is the G-code. Looks pretty good. And here's the model for the blade. So I'm going to do this in black PLA+, plus, which prints at a higher temperature. But I think it looks way nicer than normal PLA. All right, 12 hours later, this one is looking good. You can kind of see the, uh, the little black specks in there. That's the marble PLA kind of look. So upon close inspection, it actually seems like these didn't come out as well as I'd hoped. Um, as you can see, it's peeled off at the corners. So I've put a brim on like that. I'm gonna go start that printing now with a brim and hopefully uh, it will come off a bit nicer. Gonna start filling it now. So this side is the side that had the supports on, and as you can see, it's quite messy compared to this side. Gonna hit it with some sandpaper, try and get it nice and smooth. Now the knife's all smooth, I can put on the first coat of primer. So we've got this surface primer right here. This works really good for painting 3D prints and there's a link in the description if anyone wants to buy it. I've recently managed to get all my affiliate links. So I've also got my 3D printer link down below if anyone wants to get into this sort of thing. Uh, everything you need should be linked in the description. All right, so it's all primed. We're gonna start painting it. The request is a Doppler phase one. So I'm gonna be using purple. I'm also gonna use red as well, but I'm gonna spray it from further away because it looks very pink from a distance. It's gonna be an accurate replica of his actual in-game knife. So he sent me a screenshot of his exact pattern and I'm gonna try and recreate it. So that's what I'm gonna go with. All right guys, it's all dry. Um, I put on like the little handle bits, but they're not glued on yet, obviously. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. That's quite accurate compared to the kind of areas of light and dark. So you've got like the, this is the backside. You've got kind of the more light pink in the middle and then darker at the edges. And then on the other side, you've got the inverse. So you've got dark in the middle and then you've got like a light pink tip, a bit of light here as well. It's gonna be looking like that, but I'm not finished. So I need to put some blue in there. I'm gonna start putting some blue on here now with acrylic.
All right, while that's drying, I'm gonna detail the handle. So I've done one of these before, and you see you've got the little gold designs on the blade here, so I'm just gonna do this again. Might try and get some silver in there, just for accuracy, because it does have a silver background on this little middle part, so I might try and do that, but yeah. Just gonna be using these metallic pens. Here it is, all dry. It's looking nice. Really like this pink tip here. I'm gonna stick on these little handles now with some super glue, and then I'll take it outside and show you guys. All right, guys. So here is the finished product. I think this looks pretty. This looks pretty nice, honestly. This is the comparison. So this is the play side right here, and then this is the back side. So yeah, honestly, I think this turned out pretty nicely. Hopefully, uh, the guy that ordered this will be happy. Yeah, and it's going to be quite nice for him to have a replica of his uh, in-game knife. And guys, if you want me to make any of your knives, please just put them in the comments. All right, I'll try and make as many as I can. Also, I've got something very exciting to announce. In the next video, I'll be launching my Patreon and you guys will have full access to all of my models. So the first five people that subscribe, I'll be giving away a Karambit Blue Gem to one of them. So the first five people, you've got a one in five chance to win the Karambit Blue Gem. And also you can have access to all of my exclusive content as well as my 3D models. So you'll be able to make your own knives as well. Don't forget to comment your skin suggestions and I'll see you in the next video.